Hello, welcome to another edition of Diggers Outdoors. Uh, today, I think we're going to talk about hand tools. Okay, you may ask yourself, what do hand tools have to do with outdoors? Well, these are antique hand tools, things that you can use to drill, and one you, you can use to uh, split wood. Not really chop, but split wood. And uh, the reason I bring, it, bring these up, especially the antique hand tools, is that um, in a uh, SHTF uh, grid down situation, you're not going to have power for very long. So these people are telling you that they're going to take their rechargeable drill with them out when um, SHTF happens. They're going to have that drill for about an hour, maybe two hours if they have two batteries, and that's it. It's going to be dead. Uh, with this, you never run out of power until you go to bed. But uh, without any further ado, let's start with um, a couple, two, three tools that I found. They're all about the same thing that I found at uh, different uh, swap meets and a couple other things. Uh, they're a multi-tool. So give me one second. Let me uh, get it all set up. Okay, there's the multi tools I have in hand here. Uh, since I found a cap for that one, yay! I just love when that happens. Where did you go? Where did you? There you are. They're all basically about the same thing. I'll use this middle one to show you what's going on here. But uh, it comes with all these little bits in here. Uh, like this one, got a small chisel, small gouge, see, gouge, large flathead screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, a couple other small uh, flathead screwdrivers, a pick, another flathead screwdriver, and this is kind of an auger drill bit type of deal. But um, you can do all kinds of little stuff with these, with these little tools. Like carve your spoons. Um, other projects like you use a drill to make, make holes. Put screws in stuff. And we'll look at the bigger one here too. This one here is kind of like the one I just showed you. Except this one here is the first one I got and well everything inside of it is bent So some of these tools are going to need some work But this one For these multi tools this one's kind of like my crowning achievement. I picked this one up for like $25 Pretty much the way you see it right here, and it looks like it just came out of the box This sucker here is about 50 years old One thing I was always told especially with the tool if it ain't broke use it it's a tool. That's what it's supposed to be. That's what it's supposed to be for. Now this one, a lot of the same stuff as in the other one, and there's some different stuff in this one. A lot of the same, some different. Like this one comes with an awl. How about a little saw blade? And you got the gouge. You got the um, the chisel. And the gouge. Three di different types of flathead screwdrivers. A pick. And another one of them little auger drill bit type deals. So let's put this stuff away. Go on to the next stuff. Let's let's talk let's talk a little bit about making holes and stuff. Hand drills. Everybody likes a good hand drill, right? So let's put the, these guys away here. Ah. We'll hold off on the hand drills for a little bit. The first thing I'm going to show you is this guy right here. This guy right here looks like a regular brace, bracing bit, right? 
check this out though. If you look at the jaws here, it's actually made for something square. Now you can put a regular drill bit in there, you just have to crank down on it, but these little deals here, since it's ratcheting, these were made for auger bits. What it is is since it ratchets, when you're going around, you can stay in your power stroke with your auger bit. But if you want to use it as a regular bracing bit, there you go. But uh, these are neat little guys here too. See, you can hear that ratchet right there. Like a regular little hand drill like this. For most people, I've heard people refer to these as pin vices too. But that's a regular little hand drill. Put, put one hand here, put one hand on there, turn, turn the wheel, it drills your hole. That's all well and good. Let's take it up a notch. We got this little baby right here. Now, yes, this is a hand drill, but now he knows it takes more than one hand to keep it in keep it in in, um, in line. It got actually this up here is actually for your shoulder. It's also a two speed. See where the where the gears? Let me see it. See where the gears engage right there? You can take this right here. There's another set of gears. You can't really see them too well, but they're right in here. You can move this down one hole and get more torque on it. The other thing you can do with this is you can loosen up this screw, move this handle out, and still get more torque. Get even more torque on top of that. So, but um, yeah, if you need to drill a heavy hole, this is the guy to have right here. One last tool here. Well, as I said, some of these need some work. Like you can see this, this is split out. I just picked this up not too long ago. This is what's called a fro. Now I'm still trying to figure out how exactly I want to fix this handle. But most of you probably seen how a fro works. You put your log down, your log stick like this. You put this down, you take, take your baton. You hit it up here, you drive it down in so far. You pop it and split your wood. And um, as I said, what does this have to do with the outdoors? As I said, SHTF situation, grid down. Uh, could be a base camp situation where you don't really want to have any power tools or anything like that. Now, one thing I will say, you're not going to be throwing these in your backpack. You could if you wanted to, but you have to remember, you're going to be carrying this stuff. And this older stuff, it gets a little heavy. So a lot of stuff you're not going to take to a base camp situation unless you have some kind of conveyance. But... Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, thank you for the views. Uh, leave a comment. And I thank you for watching. See you all later.